All right. Good morning. It is now officially 11:11. I counted down the seconds. Um, welcome to McCordsville United Methodist Church. Those with us in person and those online at the moment. Um, we're so happy to have you on Palm Sunday. That's that's my pun. For... Jesus just went through giving everybody high fives, right? Palm Sunday. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> face palm, yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, um, thank you for, uh, yes, uh, dealing with my terrible sense of humor. Anyway, uh, yes, we're so happy to have you. Will you stand with us? We'll start off with a word of prayer and, and, and begin uh, to worship this morning. Uh, Father God, thank you for this time we have together to worship you uh, in your presence. Uh, thank you for sending your son. Uh, we worship him today just as they worshiped him that day as he came in on, uh, on the donkey. God, we shout, Hosanna. We shout, we praise you. We thank you for the opportunity we have through your son uh, to be forgiven and to live with you in eternity. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Let praise be a weapon that silences the enemy. Let praise be a weapon that conquers all anxiety. Let it rise. Let praise arise. We sing your name in the dark and it changes everything. We sing with all we are and we claim your victory. Let it rise, let praise arise. We'll see you break down every wall. We'll watch the giants fall. For fear cannot survive when we praise you. The God of breakthroughs on our side. Forever lift him high with all creation Christ. Let faith be a song that claims the storm inside of me. Oh, let it rise. Let faith arise. You'll see you break down every wall. We'll watch the giants fall. For fear cannot survive when we praise you. The God of breakthroughs on us. This is what freedom feels like. This is what heaven sounds like. We praise you, we praise you. This is what living looks like. This is what freedom feels like. This is what heaven sounds like. We praise you, we praise you. This is what living looks like. This is what freedom feels like. This is what heaven sounds like. We praise you, we praise you. We'll see break down every wall we'll watch the giants fall for fear cannot survive when we praise you the god of breakthroughs on our side forever lift him high with all creation cry god we praise you oh we praise you oh we praise you.
Now will you join me in the Apostles' Creed? I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Take a moment to turn and say hello to one another. All right, you may be seated. Got a few announcements today. Not too many. Um, so tomorrow night, the United Methodist Men will be meeting for dinner at 6.30. The following day, there will be a United Methodist Women meeting at noon uh, for lunch and uh, an outreach meeting that evening at 6.30. Good Friday will be this coming Friday um, at 6.30 p.m. We'll have a service. Um, Christian Layman's Breakfast uh, will be at Fort Bill Church of the Nazarene at 7.30 a.m. on April 8th. I'm feeding my children breakfast at that point in time. Um, and there will only be one service next week for Easter Sunday. Um, and that's at 10 a.m. Prior to that, there will be a, a breakfast with excuse me, all the fixins at 8.30, starting at 8.30 until the start of service, and then it will actually be followed by an Easter egg hunt uh, for, I'm told for the children. Uh, sorry, Pastor Campbell. Uh, but, uh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, uh, but yeah, that's, that's all I got. So, if you'll stand with us once again. We'll continue to worship. God of creation, there at the start, before the beginning of time. With no point of reference, we spoke to the dark and fleshed out the wonder of light. Evolving in 
pursuit of what you say If it all reveals your nature so blind I can see your heart in everything you say Every painted sky, the canvas of your grace Creation still obeys you so alive. Nothing worth more that could ever come close. Nothing can compare. You're our living hope. Your presence. I've tasted. 
You may be seated. All right. Do we have any prayer requests or joys today that we'd like to share? Yes. Yes, Jennifer and the three three granddaughters. Okay. Anybody else? Yes. the four of us all had COVID and that that was only I think like a little over a week and it was still the hardest week of my entire life so uh, yeah I can only imagine having two little little babies and uh, going through that for a month <laughs> yeah yeah anything else I'll share that my sister celebrated her, her, her birthday yesterday. <laughs> Give Cameron a hard time. <clears throat> she became Angie in first service. <laughs> um, anybody else? <laughs> Pat's yeah, Pat's back. <laughs> Yeah. Storm damage. Um, it's been difficult. They have slowed me for school because we don't have power, so. Oh, okay. You get the day off tomorrow. <laughs> Not really. Oh, okay. You doing a e learning day? Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. It's very right now they're calling it a community day, so that they're actually doing what they can to support the students. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Yeah, Rob shared that, you know, with us going into the, the valley of what is Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday, um, just uh, allowing God to open the hearts of those um, that have been struggling with maybe their belief or their faith or, or, you know, anything in life, and just allow God to intercede and become you know, the real integral, integral part of their lives that he really should be. Anyone else? For Lowell's family, For Lowell's family Lowell Thomas, they had, their, had his service yesterday. Um, Friday. Oh, Friday, sorry. The days are, are intermingling in my mind right now. Um, but yes, pr- prayers for... Lowell Thomas's family, for sure, whether it be biological or church family or work family or any, any kind of family. <laughs> All right, let's go to God in prayer. Father, we come to you again today just in remembrance of you. We remember what you gave to us in your son, salvation, forgiveness, guiltlessness, 
shamelessness, Father. We thank you for that. We remember the week that Jesus had as he prepared for his death. We remember the turmoil that he went through in the garden. Being so stressed that his sweat was like blood. And he asked you to take the cup away if it was your will. But at the same time, he said that your will be done, God. We remember the fear that he had. But the love that he had for us to go about continuing along the path you had set for him. And this week, God, we remember all of that. We remember the betrayal and the denial. But we also remember, God, that Sunday's coming. That he wasn't still in that grave that morning when the disciples went to see him. thank you for that. We thank you for the joy that that brings. God, we ask that you give us every day our Easter, the joy that that brings us, and the redemption and the hope We ask that you give us an Easter every day, God. Today we pray for those who are hurting, who are mending, whether it be their physical bodies, their spiritual bodies, their houses, even, God. We just... Ask that you wrap your arms around them as we know you can. As you being the great physician, as they say, God. We thank you for the celebrations we've had this week. And we ask that you're with us through those things that may not be so celebratory. But we ask all this in your son's name as we say the prayer that he taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread as we forgive those who trespass against us. I'm sorry. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Receive the good news of the gospel from the 21st chapter of Matthew, the first 11 verses. Did you turn up the lights or did the sun come out? (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Thank you, whoever. (laughs) When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethphage, At the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, 
just say this, the Lord needs them, and he will send them immediately. And this took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, the king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the colt, they brought the donkey and the colt, and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their, spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. May God add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and appropriation of the word. Chances are good that Herod and Pilate came into the city, came into Jerusalem for the Passover, because it, it was a potentially violent time as folks in the city realized that this is a time of deliverance. We should be delivered from these Roman folks. And so they came in, marching, riding, processing, with the full power of Rome. All the banners, all the firepower, everything that they could spare to show folks that we are here and we will crush you if we need to. And they came through the front gates. They meant to squelch any thought of rebellion that, that might be brewing by a show of Roman force, their military superiority. I have memories of uh, May Day parades through Moscow where they trucked all their weaponry through the city to show the people of Moscow and then to show us that we are a force to be reckoned with. Jesus, on the other hand, came in a back door riding a donkey to shouts of Hosanna, which is save us. Now, the donkey was, was not necessarily a humble animal because it was the, the animal of the Davidic kings that David rode a donkey in, partly as a reminder that you may be the king, but God is higher than you. God made you king. So don't get too uppity there, bud. Even conquering Roman emperors had someone standing behind them in the chariot who would say, remember, you are mortal. So you can celebrate all you want, but try to stay humble as you do. And Jesus was surrounded by folks who came in ready to celebrate him, to shout Hosanna, to risk their lives, to be ready for rebellion. Because if Pilate or Herod found out about these, this other procession, they would have come down fast and hard on Jesus and all of his followers. But Jesus still came in gently, faithfully, 
lovingly. Pilate and Herod use intimidation and fear to get what they want, to control the crowd, to show off that if you cross us, we will crush you. Jesus came in, if you crush me, it really won't change anything. The rocks and stones themselves. Jesus uses love and faith and presence to influence and guide folks into freedom, into, into the realm of God. At my father's funeral in particular, my mother's as well, I don't remember what anybody said to me, but I remember some of the folks who were there. I remember the presence. I remember being there. I remember people being there with us and for us. Jesus practiced presence. He was there. And he was there in a way that children wanted to come to him. And children actually were urchins in that day and time. We call them that, but in Jesus' day, they were non-persons. So when Jesus said, let them come, because this is, this is who I want around me. These people who want to be loved and who know how to love solidly. We do like to win. A friend of mine who's played both industrial league basketball and church league basketball said I would much rather play industrial league because industrial league plays for fun. And church league plays for the blood of Jesus. That we do like to show each other how much better our denomination is than yours. And in some cities and towns where there's one good restaurant and at least two churches, we have to get out before the Presbyterians because they take all the seats at the Embers which was the restaurant, probably still is the restaurant in Portland, Indiana, but there are a few more now. So we like to win. We also love Jesus. We want to be gentle and faithful and loving. We want, we want to be the people that Jesus keeps calling us to be. To receive the promises that, that Jesus gives to us. And every day, but especially this day, when I wrote especially this day, I was thinking Palm Sunday. But grammatically, it's this day, whatever day it may be. We get to choose whether we'd rather win by fear and intimidation. And it seemed some of those churches and denominations won by cheating, but that's because we didn't very much. Or would we rather have abundant life? Would we rather have Love. Would we rather give love and live it out in service and in sacrifice? Choose this day whom you will serve. As for me and my house, 
we will serve the Lord. Take your hymnals, if you will. Turn to page 15, which is not a hymn. And down about two-thirds is uh, word and table number three, Roman numeral III. And you just have the, the cue lines and the responses. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Almighty God, creator of heaven and earth. In love, you made us for yourself. And when we'd fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, your love remained steadfast. You bid your faithful people cleanse their hearts and prepare with joy for the Easter feast that renewed by your word and sacraments and fervent in prayer and works of justice, justice and mercy, <clears throat> we may come to the fullness of grace that you have prepared for those who love you. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you and blessed is your son Jesus Christ whom you sent in the fullness of time to redeem the world. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in our likeness. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. He took, him, took upon himself our sin and death and offered himself a perfect sacrifice for the sin of the whole world. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, Jesus took bread. He gave thanks over it. Praise to you, O Lord our God, sovereign of the universe who gives us bread from the earth. And after he'd blessed it, he broke it and he gave it to his friends and said, take this and eat it. This is my body broken for you. Remember me each time you eat. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup and he gave thanks over it. Praise to you, O Lord our God, sovereign of the universe, who gives us the fruit of the vine. And he gave it to his friends and said, Drink from this, every one of you. This is my blood of the covenant, poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Remember me each time you eat. And so, in remembrance of these your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and cup. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church. All honor and glory is yours, almighty God, now and forever. Amen.
I'm going to trust you not to get your germs all over the bread (laughs) and invite you to come as the Spirit moves you to come and take the bread and cup. broken for you. The body. Take it every time. Last time, let us pray. Eternal God, we give you thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Grant that we may go into the world in the strength of your Spirit to give ourselves for others, modeling the love and sacrifice that Jesus gives for us. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand with us one final time. sorrow and dead in my sin lost without hope with no place to begin your love made a way to let mercy come in when death was arrested and my life began ash was redeemed only beauty remained my orphan heart was given a name my morning grew quiet my feet rose to dance and death was arrested my life began oh your grace so free washes over me you have made It's your endless love pouring down on us. You have made us new, now life begins with you. Release.
Release from my chains, I'm a prisoner no more. My shame was fast on me, they believe me. He canceled my debt and he called me his friend. When death was arrested in my life, he gave. Savior displayed on a criminal's cross. Darkness rejoiced as though heaven had lost. But then Jesus arose and our Savior in heaven. That's when death was arrested in my life. Go out as a revolutionary, a revolution of grace and love and service. Amen. I'm never sure what I'm doing either. <laughs>